Hey, Dad. Hi, Amy. What can I do for you? If you really want to do something for me, you could move those sheep that are at Heartland out here. I'm keeping things going while your grandfather's waltzing around Arizona. He was not waltzing, OK? He was recovering from a heart attack. Yeah, well, that's why I let him in on the deal. Ugh, high profits, low maintenance, perfect for the golden age. And what thanks do I get? I get nothing but grief. You know, I am sure that you meant well, OK? But I cannot work with those sheep around. So just load them in a trailer and bring them up here. But take a look around. This is prime cattle country. You think I'm going to let a bunch of sheep eat my grass? Hey, Amy, you look like you're all set. Yeah, you remember Nicole? Hey, Nicole. Hey, how's it going, Amy? Great, good. Can I talk to you for one second? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. What's up? Hmm. Amy, what is it? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just I don't have time to go on a trail ride right now. I've got to do something with these sheep. No, no, Amy, you promised me. And, and Nicole, she came all the way. I know, I know. But, Lou, I am trying to wean a foal. And with these sheep around, it's not going to happen. Well, then ask Grandpa to move them or Dad. You think I haven't tried? Dad says it's Grandpa's responsibility. And he won't even lift a finger. And then Grandpa has suddenly decided that he's determined to keep them here. What? Lou, this foal's health is at risk. And Scott's depending on me. Please. Hey, Lou, you know, I don't I don't really need to go on a trail ride. I mean, there's actually, you know, we aren't going to do the trail ride, but we are going to do something that's way better. And you know what? I'll come, too. It'll be great. OK. Ready? Let's move them out. Okay. Come on, Chief. All right, ladies, let's bring them up. 